to episode four. I'm going to lose track of the number of episodes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Films on LHD. Uh, today we're going to be talking about... Cannibal Holocaust. One of the most controversial films of all time. It is, right? Yeah. 19, 1980? First yeah, came out? 1980. Now, okay, it came out in 2001. It took 21 years to come out. <laughs> now, for those don't know, who don't know, why was it so controversial? Right, was it uh, controversial before its release, or when it was released, or how was it released, or how yeah, it was made? Yeah, yeah, when it was released, it was basically like they like arrested the dude for yeah. uh, obscenity. Um, because, because of the film. Because yeah. I think also it was one of the first found footage, like cinema very. It is the very first. Is it the footage. very first? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so people thought that it was real. Yes, and I mean, he had a contract where his actors could not make public appearances for mm -hmm. a year. If I was like in 1980 in a cinema seeing that, and the actors haven't been seen since, I would think it's real, you know? Yeah. So well, that, well, let's give more context for those who don't know, right? Who don't know what you're talking about. So, uh, this guy, what's, it, what's his name? Ruggiero Dodato. Some Italian dude. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he... So he... He... Did he personally release it or a company released it? A no. company, no, right. yeah. A company yeah. released it saying they found a film of a documentary who went, a documentarian who went to the Amazon, yeah. right, and got, basically was doing a, doing a documentary on cannibals, and, it, and it, I mean, not on cannibals, yeah. he doesn't know they're cannibals, yeah, yeah. on a tribe, a lost tribe in the Amazon, mm -hmm. and it all starts going wrong, yeah. right? And, um, and then they find this footage later and they released it to the public, yeah. and you find out what happened to these filmmakers yeah. in the film. So, so that's how it was, it was um, marketed as, but the guy uh, was, was known for already doing cannibal films, like he had done some yeah, before? Yeah, he did a Jungle Holocaust, aka Last Cannibal World, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what actually got him funded uh, yeah. for this film. Yeah, it, it was, was like a like, German studio that yeah, funded it. Yeah, it was right? a German yeah. studio, and it was, so he was already known as, as a cannibal guy before yeah. this. But he wanted to do something different. You know, yeah, he, that, yeah, he yeah, he wanted to get a bit more pretentious with it. Yeah, and I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny because like when when you say that and you say he got funding for it, I'm like, who would fund these films? And then I think, and then I'm thinking of like Human Centipede. Yeah. Right, and that's got like a se as a sequel, and then the third one is third like one. way bigger budget. In the first prison. one is like in the prison yeah. or military. Yeah, there, yeah, and there's some like there's some mm. like named actors in that film. Really? Yeah, it's like, yeah. And seeing like Dodato at least could prove that he could knew how to do stuff even if yeah, he yeah. was like exploitative he had some talent whereas tom six does not <laughs> no, hey, no 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 i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not, not, not going to cast on who has talent <laughs> or who doesn't all right oh, i don't yeah. may, maybe he has talent but his the three films of him that i have seen which is the human centipede trilogy i don't think are good <laughs> yeah so maybe, the second you know, maybe, one is still banned in but New Zealand. At, but at yeah. the same, but at the same time, the guy made three. The guy made a trilogy. Yeah. See, the second one, I, I like, almost respect because I watched it and disgusting. I was like, this is awful. This is disgusting. It's one of the most disgusting. So it's like things I've ever seen. one of the worst films I've seen. But also, <laughs> for like four hours after that, I couldn't eat. I was like gonna throw up. Oh, this yeah. is Human so Centipede or, or the Human, Human Centipede, Centipede two. two. So it's like. Yeah. I can respect the fact that it's, so that it's so disgusting, but I also don't like think there's any merits to it. So yeah. it's like you know. But okay, so okay, yeah. To get back to it, so so my question to you guys was, how did you how did you first hear about Cannibal Holocaust, and how did you go into watching it? Did you know the whole setup, or did yeah. you know that it was like it was actually just a film? I mean, first time I watched it was like fifteen or sixteen. Uh, and I was just going through like a exploitation film binge, binge, <laughs> yeah, and just watching everything, you know, um, from that era, and yeah, just like came across Cannibal Holocaust, and it was just you know, like at the time I I, I didn't know about that, I was just thinking, the controversies Netflix, around it, Netflix binge, <laughs> yeah. Netflix, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like I didn't know about like the history around it, like around it, but. Um, yeah, like to me, it was just like um, another violent exploitation film, and I'm like, all right, cool. Um, but how did how did you? I have a bit more, more very, very different history yeah. with it. When I was I was also like I was like 13, 14. I started watching like disturbing movies, you know. That's very disturbing. 13. I I haven't seen it then. I saw the other two big ones, which are Salo and a Serbian film. Mm. But and then this was the third like big one yeah. that people talk about. 
But I so could... To, to, to tell, just before you continue, tell them a little bit about those two films, because I haven't seen those two films, but I heard about Serbian films. So, a Serbian film is an awful Serbian film, arguably the only famous Serbian film, which is, again, I, I, I don't like that at all. Yeah. But it's... I mean, I don't know how much I should get into it. It has everything. It just has murder, it has necrophilia, it has pedophilia, it has rape, it is awful. There's no artistic merit to it at all. Now, Salo. I have to rewatch that. I was just talking to a friend about this yesterday. Because I watched it because I was just in the mindset of, I want to see something disturbing. But that one has a lot more merit to it. And I know people love it, so yeah. I feel like I, I have to rewatch that now. Because I think yeah. my opinion would be a lot different. When I saw it, I thought... Oh, it's not that disturbing, it sucks. Because that's what I wanted out of it. But I, I think I need to rewatch it because there's a lot more to yeah. it. And so what's the what what's the story about? So uh Salo is about it's I think it's the end of World War Two and this group of uh it like no, it's like when uh, the end of fascist Italy, right? And this group of uh, fat fascists round up a bunch of uh underage like girls and boys. And effectively they, they just like yeah. Create hell for them for yeah. for uh, 120 days. Yeah, I haven't seen the whole film. I've just seen like the bits and pieces. Well, just just for revenge, just, yeah. yeah. Not for revenge, just for pleasure. Just, just for pleasure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's uh, I can see like I can I can see uh, there's a, it's a it has a lot more thought put into yeah. it because it, it is a you know this, obviously a critique of fascism. But I have to rewatch the it. The subtitle is 120 Days of Sodom. Yes. Yeah. Because I think so. I think because Cannibal Holocaust for me. I got tricked into watching it, oh. right? Because I was I was told that it was a real film, uh. right? <laughs> and I was and so and I was quite I was older at the time. I think it was like twenty twenty one already. Oh, okay. And then so to find a copy of the film was hard, right? Uh, like right. even yeah. like even right. like yeah. like pirated copies. It was like it was like heavily censored. Because then so it was, it was like, like illegal, illegal. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> then so so then it was like extra hype for it, right? Because yeah. it was like there's this almost almost like a snuff film. Yeah. And then and then and then I mean, the hype is so right. It's I like would, it's like it's a document. It's a documentarian who went out to the Amazon and got killed. And then you get curious, like, yeah. to like, okay, are you actually going to watch that? How much is shown? Yeah. You know, how come so many people have watched it? It's kind of like the hype around Blair Witch. Yeah. So then I watched it. <laughs> I watched it with the, with that thinking that's real. That is real. Yeah. And the thing is, like, if you come in with that into, because I feel like if you know it's a film, yeah. then you can be like, you like start asking those those filmmaking right, questions, right, and you're like, yeah. oh, it's so obvious it's a film, yeah, yeah. like Blair Witch. But if you go in thinking Blair yeah. Witch is real, Cannibal Holocaust is real, mm. you're like, oh, because whole yeah, different yeah. dynamic. Yeah, and See, that's I, what got him into be, Yeah, because I saw it so long after its release. Well, I heard about it so long after its release. I already knew, yeah. like, I knew it was fake. I knew, like, the story behind it. And I knew that they killed real animals. So I refused to see it for years. Yeah. I didn't want to see it because that was, like, my line. I, I, I don't want to see real animal cruelty on screen. But you know Apocalypse Now was a real animal. I See, I didn't know that. Right? Apocalypse Now was I a didn't real know animal. that either. Because I, I, remember, I remember watching it and I was like, that's psych. Like, really well done how did they yeah. do that and apparently there was a ceremony where they were killing a real animal yeah. for real and he was just like well I'm just, just gonna film that and use yeah. that but see but it's still a bit different because it's like he's recording a ceremony that's already happening here they got animals purely to film them exploit the yeah. death it's yeah. purely exploited whereas that is more yeah. documentary you, know? you happen to be there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you have messed up stats like look I didn't mean to exploit this murder but I happen to be there it was happening yeah so I only saw it about a week ago with one of my friends shout out to Daniel Melville he, <laughs> I got him into a horror recently and more disturbing stuff and he wanted to watch it and I, I was still like, I don't want to see it, I don't want to watch it. So we watched The Green Inferno. And Which like, is the Eli Roth. Yeah, the Eli Roth. Yeah. Then I'm like, I kind of want to see the original now. So we found a list where it's like timestamps of every animal murder, and we skipped it. So right off the bat, I, like, I want to preface this. I have not technically seen the entire film. I have skipped the animal deaths. Aww. <laughs> they about as disappointed me, but I'm not. That's still my, Cause, my life. Because the thing is, is that... Um, I know what happens. I still know, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, like, that's what... That's what makes it disgusting. Yeah. Is, like... I mean, because... The human parts, you can tell... 
Not even the human parts are like but see that, not but, really but, but fake. But, but, but <laughs> kind of. Point is, is from from yeah. from when I watched it because mm. you're like you're like you lead into it right mm. and yeah. you lead into it with the animal stuff and you're like well that's real mm. that's obviously real. yeah. So then when it gets to the human yeah. stuff, I'm just like oh yeah. See, but I mean, I, I guess because I had a different approach because right off the bat I knew it was not real. I, like I knew the human parts were not really real. So I, I it's a different. But the, can, but the can, can, can I just say like and this this is this is a little bit disturbing and so so please uh, just yeah. brace yourself. But and I remember it was disturbing. No, no, but I remember when when I was at university, right, and we were watching stuff. It was it was at a time when people were being kidnapped and beheaded, like journalists and stuff were being kidnapped and beheaded in the Middle East, right? right. And I remember a video popped up. So like it's not like I was searching for yeah. a video popped up, and the guy got beheaded, and yeah. I was like. That that can't be real. It's like is that is that yeah, what a beheading yeah. looks like? And it was so it was so disturbing. Yeah. And it like and it really didn't look real, especially when you're like yeah. kind of in the film industry and you're thinking about yeah. how they do stuff. Uh, and it's like it didn't look real. <laughs> but it was like Yeah. Yeah. Damn man. Yeah. That's the thing, but but so that's what got him into trouble. Is yeah. because they did think it was real, right? Yeah. Um, if you wanted his, them to think is that, it was real. Is that his, he wanted them to yeah. think it was real, it was great. Yeah, but it's I mean, as, but as a filmmaker, if that's your intention, yeah, right, I want you to think this is real, and you think it's real, then oh no, that's yeah, yeah, it, it yeah that's great. I mean, like, like he shouldn't have been arrested, but like you know, but he, got, he got released later, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's more, that's just more press. So I don't know if I agree with that. I How feel like he should have been arrested How because like, he, felt he about still it? committed a crime that for the animals. animal cruelty. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, it depends like on the country you're in. Yeah. So country. I guess yeah. Did they on. did they shoot all of it in the Amazon? Yeah. Oh I, no, I don't. No, she, they shot a bit of it in New York. There's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that tiny bit. But like all the, the Amazon, Amazon stuff. Yeah, all the Amazon, Amazon stuff is the Amazon. Dude, the it's so stuff. crazy how the extras like sold that shit. Yeah. Because some of them were not. They were like tribes people. Yeah. They weren't yeah. paid. They were just like, all right, stay there. Yeah. It's it's fuck. It's I mean, like you know. Um, it did kind of lead into kind of you know the the, the, the found footage genre that became yeah. popular later on. But um, uh, do you do you think them banning this film for as long as they did is that justified? Yes, I think this is the only film. Well, the only out of the famous banned films. Like if it's like actual snuff, yes, it should be banned. This is the only banned, famously banned film that I agree with the banning. Because it was still criminally made and it's still extremely, extremely unethical. Because you're, because you're, you're setting a precedent, right? You're yeah. saying if you want to be a filmmaker, fine. There's some subjects that are like, ooh, but how you make your film is important. exactly. I don't like. Yeah. I don't think there's any subject matter that is off limits. I think there should be, it should be allowed to make a film on anything as long as it's fictional. But yeah. this is not fictional, and that's the line. Yeah, the, the, that's the, why I do consider it a snuff film, even the, if it, no people die. Yeah, because animals yeah. die. Yeah, it is still yeah. snuff technically, and I, you know, yeah. But so, but you think Apocalypse Now is okay because it was for a ritual? I mean, because I, I, I didn't know that until like 30 but seconds you, ago. But you know the scene, right? I don't. I have to like re, re, remember, rewatch it. Because mm. <laughs> see, see, that's the... Because it's, done, it's done artistically, right? Because they're killing, I think it's a bull. Yeah. Right? And they're killing a bull at the same time yeah. that they're killing... Um, oh, I actually remember that now. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. It's I mean, the same with an... Uh, that movie Crash, right? That had like a scene where they just like twist the heads off chickens mm. in like Mexico. Yeah, yeah. See, so, how just, so how do you feel like about that? What if I use footage of other people's footage of animals yeah. dying so I think, to get my point across artistically? Yeah, because I think it's not just about whether animals died, it's about why they died. Because if it's a, a documentary approach, because I think documentaries, yeah. it's different, you know, it's, uh, I don't think like Animal yeah. Planet should be banned for showing dead animals, but I think it's, if it's documented, if it's something that, that is already happening and that you're kind of almost like uh, separate from, right, if you're just documenting it, that's fine. If you use footage that's from a documentary piece, that's fine. If you go out of your way to get animals and kill them on camera for the film, that's different. Yeah, yeah. that's different. Yeah, what's the what's the legality of that in 
in South America. I probably mean, nothing. You know, I mean, probably, probably especially nothing. in the eighties, especially in the Amazon. Yeah, yeah in the Amazon so in the eighties, there's no way that there, there's a law. But I mean, that's but interesting. Like, and that, does that, that, that matter goes, though? Well, that, that goes down a different. That goes down a different yeah. conversation about yeah. our relationship with animals. Yeah, you know, because that that can change over time. That yeah. can change over cultures. You know. Yeah, and that, and as that it has a whole different. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. becomes a whole different conversation. Yeah, yeah, like as it has, because and. Because in terms of, um, but like just in terms of, um, just, just even even using animals for them. stunts, right? And like a lot yeah. more animals would get hurt for stunts, and now we're a lot we're a lot more careful. We're not more professional about it. You know that's yeah. why we had that no animals were harmed in the making yeah. of this movie. Yeah, you yeah. see like horses flying everywhere, and you're like, stuff. shit, how they do that? Yeah, yeah. But but like even the um, the the actors for this were like unknowns from the actor studio in the New York. You know, right? I didn't know this until. Uh, after I watched the film recently. The doctor dude is a famous porn star. <laughs> Did you know that? Really? I he has the like, professor is a yeah, famous he has porn like, star? Like a hundred credits of like, That's like hilarious. 70s porn films. I think that'd be hilarious to see to if like this was released in a cinema. Yeah. And it's like let's say like three hundred people cinema. And then like to see who knows all, the, all the people who watch porn are like, oh, this isn't real. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Can't tell you. <laughs> but but so like, um, but everyone else is unknown. Yeah yeah. But so like you know, uh, you like you have to take that kind of uh, non-union guerrilla filmmaking yeah. thing into consideration about why like this this was made the way that it was made. Yeah, because it was also like, a- actors were also treated unethically for it. Dude, it yeah, that dude, so the, the chick didn't want to be yeah. like naked on camera, so the director like just like yelled at her and bitched her out. And then, yeah. so she's like, okay, and then like, you know, like they did like a full rape scene with her. Yeah. Had you, had you, that came out after, did it? The details yeah. of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. crazy, crazy. Because they weren't so, even allowed so to how, be the best How long was he arrested for? Not long. I don't know. As soon, you know. He got arrested. They pretty much immediately were like, "All right, the actors can come out of." Like, so it's almost like symbolic arrest rather than yeah. like actual charges. No, yeah, I don't think he went to prison for it. He was yeah. just arrested. Yeah, and, was and then twice. and then what release did the film get? Uh, well, it, it was released theatrically. It was. Released That's theatrically. limited. That's why he got arrested. Yeah. Uh, okay. He was. Okay. Yeah. Because people thought that it was real. Um, but then, like but immediately, then, it got yeah. banned. And but then the thing yeah. is, is that it it yeah like like immediately it got banned. But um, through the director video uh, yeah. market, they cut a whole bunch of shit out of it and, to make it more powerful and released yeah. a censored version, mm-hmm. which is well, that well, that's the that producers trying to make their money back. Yeah, it's right? watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's still not cheap to send a guy out to Amazon. No, yeah. And all of that, I know? wonder what the budget was. Do you think it's public? Yeah, I don't know. Probably might be. Yeah, but at the same time. <coughs> I can see, I can see the thought process. If yeah. you're into that kind of thing, yeah. right? I can see the thought process to be like, okay, let's make more and more realistic cannibal th- films to make it to make it more yeah. scary. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay, well, what would be the ultimate realistic cannibal? Is that maybe if they're lost on an island, or maybe if there was like it was like on the Alps, you know, yeah. in a crash, and then like you know they're gonna yeah. eat each other, but that's like more like a heartwarming story of survival. <laughs> you know, so it's like, so how do we make it? You know, how do you make it terrifying? So it's like warming story. <laughs> but it is, it yeah. is. Like they made that movie alive, right? And it was like the yeah. human endurance story. How much but I mean it? it's a hundred thousand. Anyway, yeah. yeah. But so 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 the thing is like I think it's really interesting because it's it falls into the the found footage genre, right? Which is like make stuff look real. Yeah. Right? But on the same time, a very similar genre you've got something extreme like The Hills Have Eyes right which has got cannibals in it and they've got yeah. like gruesome cannibal films but at the same time you're watching it and you know this is incredibly gross there's some things that look realistic but you know going into it this is a film this is a yeah. horror film yeah. this is an extreme horror film yeah. yeah you know yeah so it's like it's a different kind of horror when you think it's real same with, same with Blair Witch because yeah. right? you feel like you're watching something you shouldn't be watching mm. Yeah, I think Blair Witch is the first one. Smart marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was it was great. Yeah. They had the best. But but, but um, and then I wonder how like how did everyone get a copy of that? That I guess they bought they would have bought the copy, copy of Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean VHS. Yeah. They didn't have VHS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah, yeah VHS. So do you think made a lot of money? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It is. It is like the. It is like the underground fucking 
I mean, yeah, okay. actually, I, yeah. I don't know if the producers made a lot of money. It was probably sold a yeah. lot of times. Like but, it's like bootleg. Yeah, yeah. But but like you know what was like interesting? Taking away the parts with the animals. The rest of the the film, just as like a cannibal movie, is like pretty fucking good. Yeah. No. Yeah. I agree. That's what kind and of throws you mean. Me the, you mean the like suspense and the drive? And no, the, just, just the filmmaking. Just, yeah. just the filmmaking. Just the. Just the horror, the soundtrack is fucking crazy. Mm. Dude, the soundtrack, the is, soundtrack crazy. is so good, eh? <laughs> and, and that and that one like the, that one theme song that keeps playing over and over again. It's it's great. It's it's I, I think that what one of the best utilized soundtracks yeah. ever. Yeah. And Who would have thought of that to use that song for like the mo- two most gruesome scenes? In the yeah. Film? And um, the the actors sold it. And because like they were all scumbags. Yeah, they're all just shitty people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like right off the which bat really, you which can really tell. Adds, which yeah. Really yeah. Adds the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so and you want them to be fucked up. Yeah, by these people. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question. Yeah. Right. So it's undoubtedly like good filmmaking. You know, mm. at, at display there. Yeah. What? But however. How much do you think it takes away from that? That you know, he tried to he made a film criticizing the way like Western audiences exploit yeah. these Peruvian natives and, and animals. But he did it to make the film. Yeah. So I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't that's the question. How see, you know, see, if you fall into the the area you criticize, how much of that can be seen as genuine <laughs> good criticism? I don't know. I don't I think it's I think it's more of a fact that he he um, tried to do something artist with like artistic merit, something different, and um, yeah, I don't think he realized his his own hypocrisy in doing so. Yeah, no, I don't think he realized. But it, yeah, you know, yeah, because the thing is, is that like, even though it, it it has some really fucked up moments, it like like you know, it's like. Um, it's like fucking uh, Roman Polanski films or like things like that. It's like like it has artistic merit. You just have to take that into context. Yeah. With, with you know. But I guess here it's not happened. even it's not even the context because it's what that context is still on screen. Like the the exploitation of the animals and the natives is in the film. It's not like you know. He made the film, and then outside of it, he did bad things, like some other directors. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this yeah. is still this He's is part of the film. Yeah, it's directly intertwined. It's not a separate yeah. event. Yeah. Well, so but then, I, I, I'm gonna okay, so finish. But then, like, see, like this is why it's a double-edged sword because without that, would it have yeah. had as much no. impact in the in the in the actual like. Mm. Uh, human scenes and that. Yeah, the, so I think. It's, yeah, it's it's it's. I think it's it has hot, to be man. the only film that I consider like a masterpiece for things that are not just its filmmaking. You know, there are plenty of films I consider masterpieces because they're great films, but this is a masterpiece based on its historical context and the yeah. way it was made. Yeah. It's a masterpiece because it's so awful and hypocritical. <laughs> yeah. But there's but there's some stuff. That is like it's like mad art, right? It's mad, yeah. it's madness, yeah. right? Because yeah. let's say it's I crazy. made a film, right, and then at the end I, I commit suicide and I actually do it, mm. right? That's for my artistic expression or whatever, but it's also madness. And so is that yeah. still art? Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, like that's you know that's and, the thing. And, and so that leads into my next question, because so this film is for both of you. So this film is on the ban list in New Zealand and a lot of other countries. What else is on the ban list? Right? And why should some films be banned? Like you said, do you think something, there's, there's no, no topics that should be tab- taboo? You know, so do you think there are some topics that should, should be taboo for you? Because he doesn't. I but, actually, also, but also, <laughs> also, why is there a market for this, for human nature? Why do, are there some people out there that want to watch snuff films? Why, if there's a beheading, that some people are curious, even even less even less even less extreme, right? 
why do we why do we have jackass why do some people like watching people get hurt for real mm. like what yeah, is that about us as, as humans yeah you know because that that's not that's not that extreme but it, it does lead to more and more yeah. okay you know but because there is that fascination how how bad do we want to get yeah. them to get injured mm. yeah because the thing is is that like okay so like that's what i was going to relate it back to is that um so, so like First of all, I don't think there's there's any subject that is is off limits in fiction, right? I'm interested um, in the, what Harry thinks after. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> but the reason that things get banned or things get like you know is is because it 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 it, it confronts the shadow. Um, there are things that that because of our evolutionary history and inner psychology, that is a part of us. That it, it like, like, um, that you know it, it's it's kind of uncomfortable for us to to see that as as being a part of ourselves. Mm. That's why also that's also the attraction is because some people want to be like ooh like <laughs> like you know let's see what's on let, let's on see what's over the line yeah. here you know like yeah, I think like that's why. Do you think there'd be no attraction if there was no line? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. But then you also wouldn't have civilization. <laughs> yeah, like no, no. But let's let's yeah. say there's no ban list in New Zealand. You just leave it up to your discretion to decide what's what is it. What is I think, but no, but it's still it? because there's still so many films that are considered like the most disturbing film ever that are not banned. Mm. But they're still there because yeah. there's always a moral line. Rocky. There's always there like always a be. mental line, even if there isn't a legal yeah. one. There's a mental line where people That's a really good point. think, yeah. you know. Past this, this is, I don't know how familiar you are that, with that. There's the, are you like familiar with that like iceberg concept? Yeah. So, th- there's a famous uh, iceberg of disturbing movies, and that's like a good kind of visual representation of where is your line, because it has like layers of progressively more disturbing yeah. or gra- graphic films. So what is the line? Wait, 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 can you explain the iceberg? So it's it's like uh, the idea is sort of like. You see the iceberg, it's like you just see the tip of the iceberg, yeah. but there's so much underneath. Yeah. And people are using that to sort of go into a topic and like delve deeper into a topic into like the more like unknown stuff. Like a rabbit stuff. hole. Yeah. yeah. But, you're, but, you're, but you're saying there's more stuff than... But it's hierarchical. Yeah, so it's kind of the, there's a... If, if so you're saying the darker like, you get, the more there is? No, 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 sorry. It's just, just a concept because it's a model. A, it's yeah, a model. it's a model. There's a famous post, like a very, this is a very specific one where that is applied to disturbing films, where it is sort of, you know, you have the yeah. horror films on the surface, and then it slowly gets deeper and deeper, with, and there's like levels, there's I like see. split into levels, tiers of how disturbing they are, mm-hmm. and, you know. So that's the question, where's your line? Okay. Yeah. You know, where's the line? For like, watch because interestingly enough, the stuff further down is not bad. It's the stuff that's like in the middle of this band, where it's like commercial enough that people will have seen it, that's the banned stuff. Whereas, yeah. like, if you get Dude, more disturbing, it does not get banned. Fucking Clockwork Orange was banned for the longest time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you know, see for me, see for me, that's a t- that's a time culture thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, where you're not used, yeah. you're just not used to something. Yeah. Rather than. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the same. No, yeah, it's like uh, it's like an 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 example here in New Zealand, the wild one with Marlon Brando was banned because they were like afraid of like youth gangs in Lower Hutt. Yeah. Mad Max was banned. Ma- Mad Max was banned because of the same shit. Like it's um, and and I did not find out until the 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 Christchurch shooting that New Zealand has like a chief censor that like everything has to go through. Yeah. Like you know that's like an official part of the government is like that's like the chief censor. I, I, I know that yeah. only because in Serbia, before I moved, I was like, this is insane, because we don't have that in Serbia. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a whole department just for censoring for media. Censoring. That's, yeah. I don't like, you know, that's... Yeah, it is, it is, <laughs> it is kind of, but like, Human Centipede 2 is banned. So, yeah. so this, so this is my, my, my quick, quick take on it. Um, I think conceptually, I, I agree with you both. Like, I agree with you both that if it's fiction, right, there is something psychologically beneficial for us 
to look yeah. to not hide the dark side but know it's there yeah. Yeah. Right? you take a look and it's like oh shit I'm so grateful for my life right <laughs> and I think that goes back to ancient times yeah right you there's like look at Greek plays they are messed up violent as right? fuck they're messed up and he married his mother and killed his yeah. sister and blah 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 they're like but they're, it's all conceptual as well yeah. right it's you don't life. have to actually see it yeah. right you don't have to be and I think the more and more um the more and more realistic you make something, I think you then have to question, okay, what am I doing here, right? Am I trying to shock you or not? But, it, but it's the same thing, because like Hills Have Eyes, they're trying to make stuff look as realistic as possible to terrify you, but we know that it's not realistic. It's not, it's not really though. It's still like very over the top. And, like, no, 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 I know, like, I know. so it's a bad example, but I'm saying there are films <laughs> yeah, no, where they'll try to make gruesome stuff as realistic as possible to dip, to add that yeah. different element. So I think there's different ways of approaching yeah. it. Because for example, there's also symbolic, symbolically referenced stuff. Like, you know, um, Seven, right? The wife's head's in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to see the head for you to go, oh my God, I can't yeah, believe yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that ending, right? Because yeah. it's the concept that terrifies us, you know? So I think there's several ways to do it. Because like, there's, there's that, type of horror and then like uh, through the um, exploitation films in the 60s and 70s after the Hays Code basically just went out and they came up with the rating system right um, that's when they started pushing the boundaries of just violence mm-hmm. yeah. to set themselves apart from the studio films yeah it's interesting um, how many yeah. Of yeah. those films, if you like look, their like tagline is like the most controversial movie yeah. ever, or like the most violent movie yeah, ever. Yeah, banned yeah. in four countries. So, yeah. so that was part of the marketing. Yeah. So, so I think, I think, yeah. I think there's a clear distinction between conceptual violence. Yeah. So it's like, what can you show? Like uh, taboo topics, yeah. you know, pedophilia, rape, things like that. And then there's also like graphic, like how graphic can you get with something? But I you don't, because because for another example, like, like. Lo- like Lars von Trier, the opening of uh, Antichrist, right? Yeah. Beautiful music, black and white shot, and there's like they're having sex in the in the shower, right? While the baby climbs out the window and dies, right? It's so it's so disturbing because you're yeah, watching yeah. like this intimate thing that's basically porn to beautiful music and cinema, and then a baby dying, and it like messes with your head. Yeah. Right? And that was done intentionally, and that's very gra- graphic. Yeah. But how is that not porn? That's odd. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, because, again, I don't, I still don't think legally there should be that distinction because it, even as, as graphic as something is, if it's done, you know, ethically, if it's done legally, if it's done consensually, I still think, I don't think it should be banned. But I don't think it should be legally, you know. Yeah. Did you know that, like, this was really interesting. The first kick-ass movie, they had to pull it out of theaters. Really? because of the last scene where he beats the shit out of Hit Girl, who was 11 at the time. Mm. Right? Yeah. And that's a graphic fight scene. That's like a, like he beats the shit out of her. Mm. Um, that's one of the reasons it had a limited theater run. Am it's I, because I, people were out. Am like, I wrong as well? Like, like Lolita also got banned? Yeah. Probably. Because it's about, because it's yeah. about yeah. pedophile, right? Yeah. But it later, it later got okayed. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, I mean it's not, and that's nice. and that's also Kubrick, right? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. Um, but, but I mean, even the book was banned, so it's not. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. But so, um, like, do you think? Do you think? Like, okay, th- so that's a better example, right? So it's a book, so it's not graphic. So you're banning something purely on subject matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think? Do you think that should be allowed? No. no, no. Okay, so obviously it's not all filmmakers' job to push those boundaries, but. Should we as a society respect the filmmakers that want to push those boundaries? Absolutely, because as much as unethical as, as it is, I don't think many of the films we love today would have existed if Without Cannibal, Cannibal Holocaust, Holocaust wasn't yeah. made. Yeah, that's a that. That's yeah. not, that's not a even, I agree. Statement. Not even just found footage, just disturbing, like mm. unsettling films in general. Because like, that, was the whole, that was the whole uh, thing with the splat pack in the early 2000s, right? Uh, Eli Roth. Darren Lynn Bousman, 
fuck, I forget the other two. But he's, the, so he's, the, he's the bear Jew, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boys, yeah. yeah. So, like, I think Hostel 2 is still banned in No, no, it isn't. It got unbanned or did they like unban? a year later. So, so with them, uh, there was a whole subgenre that, that happened around that time with uh, Hostel, Saw, like a whole bunch of those movies which are just known as gornography mm. right which is the focus is on graphic violence extreme yeah. yeah and 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 kind of just not pulling away from that right that was the sell of the film kind of throwback to how it was with when, when the exploitation era started right as like part of their marketing they would have like you know um um Rated X, like vomit bags will be provided, you know, just like things like that. Um, but so that whole era happened and now, um, I don't know, it's like, it's like kind of moved to like a middle ground of that. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I don't think that we would have been at the middle ground if that wasn't pushed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because then, even the middle ground would have been like too, too Because, far. okay, 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 perfect example. Human centipede. Right? That, like, because, like, did that, did the first one come out around that pornography yeah. era? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the merits of that film, I don't know about, but, like, <laughs> it was, but in, like, like, while we were in film school, it was like, yo, check out this fucked up shit. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like, so, like, it was, it was, like, that kind of thing and then the human centipede too just went even even further with that yeah. this is also because like as much as people talk about human centipede the first one is not that graphic at all it's not it's not it's, it's not. just the concept it's that the concept like, that is yeah it's like what the fuck right yeah and see that's also interesting as, as to what you were talking about where is that concept makes the film more disturbing to people than graphic violence does yeah, so that so there's another example. I don't know because I think you guys mentioned this to me that it was banned, irreversible. So irreversible is interesting because it's not technically banned because it was shown like once or twice in the cinemas. So there was never a, a release allowed, but technically it's not banned because it was shown. Wow. But see, that's so. So for people who don't know irreversible, what's yeah. irreversible about? Irreversible is a reversed rape revenge story. It starts with the revenge and then goes to the rape. So it makes you question, because the revenge happens first and then it goes, it goes backwards chronologically to show you why they got revenge. And the rape scene, which ends the film, and but it doesn't. Starts, it's like halfway through. Halfway, is it halfway through? <laughs> yeah. Then we go to normal life. I think uh, it's yeah, yeah, so yeah. perfectly structured. I, I but, love um, reversible. Yeah. But um, the rape scene is, is what? It's like what, fifteen minutes. It's like, it's yeah. like ten. It's, it's, so, it's very it's long. So very long. So so long. long. And it's yeah. one shot. It's Was it like? Uh, like Vincent Castle and like Monica Bellucci, like uh, uh, Castle, yeah. They're still they're still married, right? I'm not sure. I don't know if they still are, but they were dating at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like they were like Vincent Castle was like, I don't know if I could do this shit, man. <laughs> like, wasn't it like? <laughs> you know what's interesting? I don't know if you, if you knew this, but have you seen Noah's Love? No, I haven't. So yeah. that was initially pitched to uh, Monica Bellucci and Castle. Oh, really? But they didn't want to do the film. They ended up wanting to do a reverse. Oh, wow. So they chose crazy. to do it over love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is strange. Oh. <laughs> love so was crazy. pitched just, that long ago. This is such an yeah. interesting, just such an interesting choice, you know, to like to like make us sit there and watch, yeah. watch yeah. it. Because you know, it really plays with our psychology. Yeah. yeah. But that's the same thing with the, the original I Spit on Your Grave. Yeah. That's a rape revenge movie. Right? And the uh, rape scenes in that are longer, like in three different locations. But see, I feel like that, like, I Spend Your Grave crosses that line to just gratuitous, uh, ju done just for. Like, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, Absolutely. like, Absolutely. Irreversible still has yeah. artistic merit. Which, which would, but, but, would, but it almost makes it worse, right? Because, yeah. so for two things, because one, it, would, it might pull in a different audience. Yeah. Right? And then two, it, uh, because it because it only happens once. It's just yeah, you know, and I, and I think yeah. and I think like Cannibal Holocaust, it's it pulls in a different audience if you're not expecting it. Yeah, it's just it's just so strange. Yeah. The other one that I can think of, it's it's so uncomfortable, is um, is uh, Passion of the Christ. 
right? The violence in yes. that is so extreme. Yeah. I saw right? that in like seventh grade in school. <laughs> <laughs> they showed it to us. Right? With the, okay, with, Serbia. Yeah, but, 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 but I mean, the, but the reason no, no, for that yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. totally justified, yeah. right? Yeah. That this guy died for your sins, so watch it. Yeah. Right? Don't yeah. hide from it. Yeah. Right? Because he did it for you. So sit in it's it. Crazy. And it's like, wow, that's so yeah. intense. I think that's yeah. the first movie that I was like, this is too much. I would <laughs> right? and, but, but, what, but what's crazy is that is mass, um, en masse. Yeah. En masse. And that made people want to convert to Christianity. That made, uh, that won the, the, like, all the awards that year, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, um, Right, because you can't. Because yeah. how do you criticize? Because how do you criticize <laughs> that? You went too violent. Well, say that to God. You know? <laughs> the subject matter is too taboo. What? This is what like G- Jesus? <laughs> like, is taboo? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean like it was in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I think I think um, there is a place like, dude. If you watch like some of Takashi Miike's movie, you'd be like, mm-hmm. why, why, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> right? But, but. But um, the way that that like that kind of integrates into like the fucked upness of the world and the story is you know is like kind of dope. Even though it's it's just like 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 the opening of like the opening of Itchy the Killer, right? It's one of the most fucked up things ever put on film. Why? Because the the yakuza boss. Right, beating the shit out of a prostitute, and you see it in graphic detail. Right, Itchy's waiting outside, right, because he's gonna kill the because he, because he's gonna kill the boss. So as like as he goes to kill the boss, you see that the leaves are covered in his sperm. Right, so so he came while watching that, and then the opening opening title comes out. Of the of the spot, <laughs> it's it's fucking insane. Yeah. But that sets up the world perfectly because the rest of the movie is, is 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 just all, like you know, it's just all craziness from there. Um, but again, Japanese sensibilities. I don't. Yeah. What I, what, what, yeah. What, what, so what so what I think is crazy. Tie a little bit back in. <laughs> is sometimes you think like you said with human centipede, right? Is you get shock value, blah blah blah. And you don't have to be a good filmmaker, right? Yeah. Because it's like I'm gonna do Human Centipede, and people are gonna watch it because it's insane, yeah. right? Yeah. But then it's weird when a very talented filmmaker yeah. chooses that subject anyway, yeah. right? Because he's losing now his mainstream audience. Yeah. But then he does a messed up subject with skill, with talent, yeah. with art, art, artistry. That's like that's the way to do it. Eh? Yeah. That's the way to do it. But right. I mean, it doesn't even have to be someone losing an audience. There are like great filmmakers who kind of specialize in that and want to do that, but they're yeah. still incredible filmmakers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like at the at the end of the day, if there's like artistic merit to it, you know. Well, I mean, Tarantino is a good example of people pushing people main, pushing mainstream into cool, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. But see, I, in my mind, it's a very distinct, separate kind of thing. It's like more done for comedy and for entertainment rather than to disturb for yeah. Tarantino yeah 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 like you know like if, if someone gets shot in a Tarantino movie and there's blood everywhere it's done for like entertainment it's like yeah. usually it's done for comedic effect yeah but uh, but, 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 but but in in fucking Death Proof Man when like like when fucking Rose Rose McGowan's character dies it's pretty fucking intense is that the car scene? Yeah, yeah 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 so like um, Stuntman Mike has a Death proof car doesn't have a passenger seat, right? Because that's where the camera goes. So like, he's gonna give Rose McGowan a ride home. She sits on the little like thing, and then um, uh, like, all right, which way are you going? It's like, oh, it's like left. Well, well, that's too bad because mm-hmm. if I was going left as well, then it would have been a while before you started getting scared. <laughs> And then he just drives like a maniac, right? Rose McGowan's just flinging everywhere, just graphic blood splatter everywhere. Like, it's just, it's just like psychotic shit. So he just kills her, right? In this, in this insanely violent fashion. And like, he was just so like charming and sweet before. But that's, right? but that, but that's and Tarantino just like doing a genre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and um, 
So that, like, the first time I, like, I watched that in the cinema, I was like, what the fuck <laughs> just happened, <laughs> you know? Because it, so, yeah, it was so violent. Um, yeah. All right, Anyways, yeah, final, should, final should thoughts. Uh, I mean, as I said, I yeah. think it's a masterpiece. It's not all really based on just the pure filmmaking, more on, on the context. Yeah. I think it, it pushed the boundaries, and we wouldn't have had the film we have today without it. Yeah, I... I basically have to say the same thing because like the the parts with the humans like the the actual um, attacks and all that stuff with the soundtrack with the cinema verite filmmaking it's just it's just great just great and then yeah uh, just the impact of it historically and you know in, in horror cinema in general uh, undeniable both. For me, for me, it's more about um, freedom of art. I agree with you. I think as long as the the making of the film is done ethically, then I think it's important, you know, for freedom of speech, freedom of art. You might mm. not like it. You might you might disagree with it. it. Might make you extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. But it doesn't mean we should censor it. Right. It doesn't mean exactly. we stop it. Because maybe you know you know I'm not going to say each to, each to their own. You mm. like your thing. It's weird. But I think like you said, if that film wasn't made, we wouldn't have some other films now. Yeah, you know, it's exactly. it's 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 important to stretch ourselves. Yeah. It's important. We, it's yeah. not. We're not intended to live comfortably. That's not. That's like definitely not the definition of art. <laughs> no. Art be comfortable. No, you know? no, 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 no. And uh, yeah, and so we would like. We should always push to like you know, make things that kind of make us question and confront our our, 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 our shadow. Yeah. yeah. Can I can I say something before we wrap it up? Yes. Yeah. I just want to plug something yeah. uh, on a, a completely ethically made uh, thing. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I don't, Some of you might be familiar, most of you probably not. I make cooking videos on occasion. So uh, tomorrow, Friday, well, maybe not tomorrow. I don't know when the podcast comes out. Friday, let's see, 9 p.m. On my YouTube channel, LSD, we're going to be seeing a new ethically made cooking video. Uh, you don't have to worry about, well, I mean, I guess animals did die for it, but before the <laughs> video started. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a bit more ethical if you want to see something of that fashion. 9 p.m. on my channel, Friday. What's your channel? It's LST. Uh, it's probably going to be impossible to find. So um, to pique your interest more, we're, uh, the video is going to be called How to Make Pork Cake. Um, okay. yeah. we'll, put it, we'll put a link on the YouTube and the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to see that <laughs> traditional recipe tomorrow, uh, all right. See, see you there. All right, guys. Much love. Please like, share, comment. Uh, please let us know if you want us to cover a film. Yeah. And if you're a filmmaker, we'd love, we'd love. You want us to cover your film? Do send it in. We're, yeah, we're, we're up for oh, that. Yeah, or for if sure. you wanna wanna be on the podcast as well. Well, maybe not. We'll, well see. You, you have to be in Taronga at first. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're yeah. starting somewhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace. Peace. See you.